In this video, I will be showing you how you can take your Apple Music special files that cannot be downloaded onto an iPod, even though you pay for the music, and I'll be showing you how you can convert that music so that way it works on your iPod. Now, that's a specific type of file for your computer that Apple uses, so you cannot use it on older devices, but if you do, there's some special software out there, and I will be showing you that in this video. Let's get started. So right here, I have my computer, and if you have an older iPod or something, and you want to convert your iTunes library over to, you know, your iPod, and you pay for Apple Music, this service is perfect for that. It is called Citify. Now, this can convert pretty much any service to whichever service, so it's like downloadable. So if you have a certain library, um, I have Apple Music that I pay for, and you know if I want to download my music onto an iPod on an offline device, you can go ahead and do that with the software. The software is perfect for that. So there's a few things you want to do. Um, obviously, you want to have your iTunes library installed, and when you click on Add Music right here, of course, first things first, you're going to want to download this um, software from the link in the description. It'll be a free download. And once you download the software, go ahead and click on Add. And it's going to have access to your iTunes library. It should ask you for your Apple ID login. Now, you should grant this access to your iTunes library. It should just work if you have iTunes installed. And you can choose you know, what you want to convert. You can literally convert everything or you can convert, you know, a specific playlist. That's what I like doing. I just do a playlist and I convert it over and it could work on an iPod. Um, I'm just going to do a specific song. So we'll just do this. And then this song, we'll go ahead and convert this song over. Now something I just want to mention that makes the software really cool is if you click the setting tab up here, um, obviously you want to have it set to iTunes record. You want to have the output format to auto, but you can change uh, whatever settings you'd like. So if you want the bit rate to be higher or lower, depending on the output format, you can change that. You can change the sample rate, the conversion speed. You can do so much and you can even add track numbers. Like basically with this settings icon up here, you can change so much about the music. And once you click on convert, it will ask you to pay and register. You can do a free trial, but only the first three minutes of a song will be free. Um, but basically, I recommend doing the buy it now because you can literally just convert your entire library over. This is really good as well. It works with more than just Apple Music as well, literally any other service. Um, and I'm just going to do buy now. So once you purchase the software, it's very inexpensive. I will have links down below to everything you need to know. Uh, once you have done all of that, you can then take whatever song you are trying to convert you can have your songs here and you simply just click on convert and it will just do that. So you can see right here we'll have how long it's taking to load. So you can see that the song is now downloading and something I realized is you need to have the song downloaded in your iTunes library. If you have the song saved but you only can play it through iCloud, it will not work. So you do need to have it downloaded offline so that way you can convert it. And like I said earlier, Apple won't let you for some reason put the music you pay for on an iPod. So this software is really good if you need to convert the music to the proper file and then put it on an iPod. This is when it's super useful. So that's all you have to do. And you can go here and you can see your music. And this is the song that's been saved. So now when you do have your iPod connected, as you can see right here, I have my iPod connected. You might have some issues actually installing the music on your iPod. What you're going to want to do is click on File, and you're going to tap on Add File to Library. Or you can add a folder to your library. So I'm going to add a file. In this specific file, you can see the song that I want shows up, but the way I got there was by going to the Citify folder on my computer. All you want to do is actually type in Citify on your computer to find where you have it saved. And you just want to tap on music and you will see all the music that you saved. And you just go ahead and select the songs that you want. Tap on open. 
and it will be added to your iTunes library. Now what I do is once I add those songs, I create a new playlist, and in that playlist I drag all the Citify songs into there. So it's pretty simple. Just take the added Citify songs that are to your library, create a playlist, and then sync that playlist with your iPod. So thank you for watching. Peace.